don't think outside the box. Say what box, right? If you're going to do something to your house, don't think, oh, um, I'm just going to put up new cabinets. Sit there and really dream, dream. What environment do I want to create here? What am I trying to say? What do I want to wake up to every morning, right? Go big or go home, right? So if you're just going to like go standard operating procedure in spring, what's the tip you would give? Uh, a paint your front door fun color. Yeah. It's easy. It costs like $5 for a little pint of paint. Yeah. And if you hate it, you can always redo it. Yeah. But it's a really easy change to make it just a little fun, funky, and you can change it again next week if you want. And when you turn on your porch light at night to make your neighborhood safer because the neighborhood is lit, people will see the pretty door color. Put a couple pretty plastic pots out there with some pretty flowers and boom, you have art in your front yard. I like a good spring cleaning where you pick <laughs> you pick a closet and you get you take to Goodwill or wherever all the things you're not using, you don't need, so someone else can use them. I mean, you always need new mulch in the springtime. Yeah. You always need new mulch. <laughs> it's new like fun make... flower colors. Yeah. My house is like a cream color with white trim, and it needs a pressure wash bad. So that's a really good fun spring project because it doesn't make a huge difference, but... Every time you walk by, you don't see grime. Little, yeah, my house is a little grimy right now, so right. a good pressure wash while it's warm out on a weekend... It's going to make it look so much better. And just be careful with the pressure washer if you've never used one before. It can cut you. Right. And it can cut a divot in your house. So know what you're doing before you use the pressure washer. Keep an appropriate distance. <laughs>